Today, we're going to learn how to implement three simple but effective mechanics to your game to level up your Rocket League skills. If you want to get better and climb the ranks, you need to learn the right techniques. In this video, I'll be sharing three simple mechanics that can all be learned in under five minutes each. These mechanics outperform even the fanciest of mechanics like air dribbles and flip resets. These mechanics will take your gameplay to the next level and help you win more matches. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the first mechanic. Power sliding is a vital mechanic that can greatly enhance your gameplay in Rocket League. It allows you to quickly turn your car, maintain speed, and avoid obstacles, making it a must learn for players of all skill levels. The good news is learning how to power slide is very, very easy. It can be learned in under five minutes. To start, you need to set a power slide controller keybind. By default, this is the square button on PlayStation or X button on Xbox. Once you have located the button, all you need to do is hold it down while turning your left analog stick in the direction you want to go. It's as simple as that. Of course, like any other mechanic, mastering control over power sliding will take time and practice. Start by practicing and training until you get the hang of it. Then, try out in a game, gradually building up your speed and control as you go. In no time, you'll be power sliding like an absolute pro. Power sliding is cool, but gets even crazier when you combine it with other mechanics, which leads us into our next mechanic, wave dashing. Wave dashing is a very easy mechanic to learn, but does take some practice. This technique allows you to maintain your speed while landing on the ground, the wall, or even the ceiling. This makes it an excellent recovery option for players of all levels. To perform a wave dash, start by jumping in the air and landing with your back two wheels on the ground. At the same time that you land on your back two wheels, hold forward on your left stick and press your jump button. This is essentially trying to front flip, but since your wheels immediately hit the ground, it launches you forward. The timing is critical to this move, so be sure to practice it in free play until you get the hang of it. Once you feel comfortable with wave dashing, try incorporating it into your gameplay. It can be especially useful for recovering while you're on the ground or landing after a high speed run. I use it most for getting off the walls and onto the ground as fast as possible while gaining speed. As with any other mechanic, the more you practice, the more comfortable and proficient you'll become. On to the next mechanic, half flipping. The half flip is another mechanic that can help you turn your car around quickly without losing speed. It's a relatively easy trick to learn and can be done in under 5 minutes with some practice. To perform a half flip, you're going to start with a flip cancel. To flip cancel, jump backwards and hold forward on your left analog stick when the roof of your car is pointing towards the ground. It should look a little like this. Now at the end of your flip cancel, when the roof of your car is facing towards the ground, rotate your car with your directional air roll so that it is facing in the opposite direction of where you want to go. Now all you need to do is add a double jump at the beginning of the half flip and you're all set. The key to mastering the half flip is timing. You need to make sure you press the jump button at the right moment so your car lands smoothly and maintains its speed. To practice, start by doing half flips in a controlled environment such as free play. Once you feel comfortable, try incorporating them into your gameplay and watch your skills improve so much. The cool part about all of these mechanics is that they can easily be combined together to really level up your gameplay. Maybe you're half flipping into a wave dash or wave dashing into a power slide. Either way, all three mechanics can be combined to really push your game to the next level. In conclusion, these three mechanics are essential skills for anyone looking to improve their gameplay in Rocket League. The good news is, is that they can all be learned in under 5 minutes with some practice. So go take the time to master these techniques and watch your skills improve dramatically. Remember, practice is key, so be patient and keep working at it, and you'll be a Rocket League pro in no time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. If we can hit a thousand subscribers in the next three months, I will touch grass live on camera just for you guys. I love and appreciate all of you and I hope you have a wonderful day.